Um, how come breastfeeding is not so well, well represented with the family doctors um, or the medical specialists? Well, that's a very easy question to start off with, isn't it? <laughs> I think, to my mind, there's a, an interesting situation as far as the breast is concerned. In the one sense, the aesthetic breast is widely viewed and widely used in the promotion of all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. The functional breast is uh, treated differently. And when the two come together, people have difficulty handling that. So breast function has tended to be uh, ignored because it's making people feel uncomfortable uh, in taking their aesthetic or erotic breast and trying to look at it as a normal functional organ. And how do you think the lactation world is going to respond to this, for instance, the, the lactation specialists? I think that the lactation specialists really do want to get evidence-based material. And it's very hard because in the literature currently because it's spread all over the place. Uh, what this uh, lab project do, does is concentrate it down into the specific areas where there are problems. There's probably around 400 problems that we've identified that are carefully discussed and the evidence for the treatment uh, provider. It sounds like a, a lot of work has gone into it. And how do you think the general practitioners are going to accept it? Well, we uh, have trialled it uh, with some doctors and we've got very positive responses from them. And uh, we've had others, like the doctors from the American Academy of Pediatrics and also the uh, uh, breastfeeding medicine uh, members and they really just want to get their hands on it now. They, they are really keen to, to be able to use it. I think there's a lot of people in the audience that will and, and that learn about it will absolutely want to do the same. I think it's an excellent project and I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you.